One of the questions I'm asked fairly often by our church members is, why do we plant more churches? There's a slight irony here, of course, that most of us in Salt and Light Advance are part of churches that were planted in the last 40 years or so, and so have benefited from being part of churches that were planted not that long ago. Well, there are a number of reasons for still wanting to plant churches. First of all, uh, to extend God's family. I mean, the truth is that God wants a big family and he wants lots and lots of people to be part of it everywhere. So to establish new communities of God's people everywhere so that people can see God's family and join in with it is part of our vision. In all of our towns and villages, we need many more bridges into God's family. Secondly, we want to reach many, many more people with the good news of Jesus. This fabulous good news that Jesus loves people everywhere, wants them to know him, and came from heaven to earth to make this possible. We want people everywhere to know him. Then there's a very large harvest field in front of us, of course. As Jesus said, there's a large harvest field, the workers are few, so we need lots more churches touching all sorts of different communities. A few months ago, when a number of people were prayer walking in Cheltenham, Lorraine and I felt that we touched a lot of hopelessness in the air of the city that we were praying in. We longed to see that broken and people finding hope in Christ. Then there was a very diverse harvest field. Uh, different churches will end up touching different parts of that diverse harvest field. If Jesus was sent by the Father to this earth, then we are also sent by Jesus to the harvest. Well, there are many more reasons. For example, new church plants are a spur to existing churches to keep on with the task. They can be more creative probably than existing churches. They add to the flavour of the church in a region and they enable many more leaders to be raised up. But Perhaps the most compelling reason is that we really do believe God's spoken to us and spoken to Paul and Lottie about going uh, to Cheltenham. And so this is something that God wants us to do. It's a matter of obedience. Uh, but maybe God wants to stir you as well to be part of this faith adventure. And if so, do get in touch with Paul and Lottie and talk to them as soon as possible. Yeah.